This is a new shirt. I haven't bought new clothes in a while, so it was kind of exciting. I mean, I didn't even buy this, it was a gift, but I just thought I'd let you guys know. What else is happening today? Oh, oh, I'm getting my wisdom teeth out today. That's right, minor thing. <laughs> just going in, surgery, getting my teeth stolen out of my mouth, yeah. So I thought, in honor of this wonderful day, I would, um, build a- <laughs> I would build a house in the shape of a tooth in The Sims. I'm sorry, I- we've lost it recently, um, but we're- it's gonna be fun. I mean that though, I think today I'm going to build a house in the shape of a tooth. In honor of my special day! You know, it'll be fun. I've done a few really dumb things like this. I built a house that shaped like a duck, I built a cat, I built like a triangle is what started it. It's just- we've gone on this path of, um, nightmare, and, uh, I think it really- <laughs> <laughs> it tops it out right here at tooth. I just googled tooth. Am I gonna regret this? Oh no, we're fine. I was worried I was gonna get like actual human teeth. I mean, well, there are some human- I'm sorry. Let me- hang on. Oh my god. Get off this page. Tooth. Where- oh, oh, okay. She's changing colors. I wasn't expecting that. I want to build a house <laughs> in this shape. I don't really know how we're gonna pull that off, but that's my vibe. Because the idea is that we build this house that's, you know, tooth shaped. This isn't really gonna- <laughs> wait. <laughs> I don't think that's what I was imagining when I first was envisioning this build, but just imagine for one second. That looks like a tooth, kind of, right? I mean, you look at that and you'd think that's a tooth. Also, maybe like a spaceship, <laughs> but that's- I mean, that's good, right? That looks like a tooth. And the idea is that we take this weird shape and we make it look like a real house. I think I might have to rotate it. I don't know if this should be the front. <laughs> I don't know if we can pull that off. That could be the back. It could be like a cute patio. Oh my god, wait. This could be like a really cute patio. See? We could put like some paver- oh no, I got a- I've got a vision now. But but imagine for a second we had like some pavers back there and then we have like, I don't know, a grill. That would be great. But do you get my vision with the tooth? That's- this is what I wanted to do. I've been like daydreaming about this for months. That's not true, not months. But my teeth have been hurting me for a long time. I've been waiting for this moment for a very long time. Like I went to the dentist for the first time about this like a month ago, but I had to wait for an appointment. I had to wait for a consultation. I had to wait for the surgery. It's just, it's been this whole ordeal of waiting. And my mouth has been in pain the whole time, so. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, a blessed day. I'm gonna be in more pain for a second, but hopefully the pain will stop after this. I think there's not much worse than like tooth pain. It's, it's not fun. But anyway, you don't care about this. <laughs> you don't care how my mouth feels. You just want to see Sims content, so you'll get it. I don't know where to put the windows. Like, I don't know what's appropriate for this. <laughs> And like, where does the front door go? What does the front door look like? These are all questions that we need to answer. Maybe I should stop and, and start with like, wallpaper. What if it was white? <gasps> no, hang on. Does the spa day have a white swatch? My shiny teeth and me. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is exactly what I wanted. This- I'm really pleased with this outcome. Okay, that's- I'm feeling a lot better now. Is there like- Dentist? No. Dental? Exterior trim? <laughs> I heard- I saw dental and I got excited, but that's not the vibe. Sweet tooth ice cream machine? <gasps> oh, we'll use one of those. And there's a toothbrush set. You know, I've still got this open another tab and it's still flashing at me. I need to like, get rid of it. I'm, I'm gonna close that. Hopefully we don't need a reference picture anymore. <laughs> there's something in my eye. God, everything's going wrong. Oh, that's quite interesting. What about sliding glass doors? <laughs> no, that looks so scary. I don't- we need to figure out a way to fix this back of the house. I mean, it doesn't have to look so much like a tooth. I just- what if we tried to get like a trellis? Here's the thing. Like, <laughs> the second I made this a shiny tooth, uh, all bets were off. All hope was lost. I mean, not much else can be done once you involve shiny teeth in these things. The second Chip Skylark showed up, we lost. And now we are just left to pick up the pieces and try and make something reasonable. Is it interesting or awful? What do you think? <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below. What if we raised it up one? Can't raise it up one. Why? Is it because of- are you serious? Okay. I don't- I think that's nice. What if we made the whole house, like, white? I think that would be really funny. <laughs> <laughs> in a terrible way, but it's, you know, shiny- oh, that's not right. <laughs> I wanted the saucer light, not the- not the space light. That's- that is not the vibe, actually. Is that shiny enough? Oh no, this flooring is like actually shiny. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm having fun. All right, I was thinking about maybe making this into the bedroom. It's a little bit weird because there's like a view <laughs> into the bedroom from uh, the rest of the house. That's okay. I don't really know where to put a bathroom. What if it was like that? Is that super odd that this like hallway exists? I honestly can't tell. I need- I need help. <laughs> Maybe the dining room could be here. Kitchen could go here. Living space here? That's a nice 
Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that works. Oh, that's a little bit odd, but you know, it, this whole house is odd. It's just gonna be that way. Not much can be done there about that problem. I'm really sorry that I'm doing this. Just for the record, I'm trying to pre-record right now because I'm taking a week off. Obviously I can't record once I get my wisdom teeth out anyway because my mouth's gonna be in pain and I can't really like talk for a living um, during that time. So I'm trying to pre-record a little bit so that I can still have content going out while I'm recovering and also um, taking a short staycation. So I've been making all these videos <laughs> and in the process, I think I lost my marbles. What if we put, this is an extreme brush, but what if we had like a, <laughs> I wanted like a gnome or something, but what about a toothbrush? Well, a few toothbrushes. Personally, I think this house is really good. I really like it. So <laughs> it's such a weird house. I think we need to do something about the roof. Like we need some trim or something. Oh no, <laughs> wait, that's not good. Look at how weird the trim looks when I do this. Cause it makes it so pointy. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> that is not what I wanted it to look like. I guess maybe that kind of works with the the tooth situation. Fine, maybe it can stay. It's like a solid color challenge where we can only use white, except it's also a tooth. It's it's like a solid color challenge, but worse. Fuzzy rug. I want a glass table. I think that's fitting. Should we have it all be like white and gold? How about the only accents can be gold? I like that idea. Oh, you know what I didn't think through? I wonder what sort of options we have for like decorations because we want to only have like white tagged items. I guess we have options, like we've got like bread baskets, we've got yarn, but, like that's tagged as white technically, but is that too much color? I guess we could always use that. I don't, I don't know if that's a problem. <gasps> Wait, this, <laughs> Wait, that's kind of good. We have like this thing too. Let's, let's place down some items that we can use. A cannon? <laughs> why does it that, why does it look like that? I mean, I said white and gold. What about instead of the toothbrush, we had a cannon. I cannot in, I cannot in good conscience do that. I might keep it though, just in case for the backyard. You never know what you need. You never know what you might need. That's, you know, you just gotta, you gotta be careful about these things. I don't know if this is like inappropriate to put in the corner cause it doesn't like fill the whole corner, but I also think that kind of helps with the fact that there's such a pointy little wall back there to get something rounded, but this isn't really like the vibe. I don't know. Well, we can test it. We're just placing like filler furniture right now so we can figure out the floor plan. I always do that first. I always pick like just random furniture. I kind of do colors, but a lot of times I'll just like put random counters down so that I can figure out how to lay out the counters and then I go back and change the color of them afterwards because I think part of the hard part of doing kitchens and stuff is figuring out like where all the counters are gonna go. And once you do that, it gets easy. So, oh, can we have a round island? Oh, it fits perfectly. Stove, fridge. I'm having a lot of fun with this house. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm I'm really enjoying this. I realize these builds are like really silly. Like, trust me, I'm I'm fully aware of that, but I just have so much fun doing them. I think we can use that. That's still white. Do you think the tooth fairy lives here? It's kind of sterile. It's kind of gross. I guess, well, sterile and gross don't really, that doesn't make sense. It's, it's weird, I guess, just like how clean it seems in here. Like it's kind of off-putting. Like I don't think I'd want to visit this place is what I mean. There's not any white frames on the TVs. They're all just gray. This is terrible. I think that one still works though. I guess that one's more of white, but I don't like how far off this one comes from the wall. Like when you size that up, look at it, it comes out like a full tile off the wall. We can't use that, it's weird. You know what I never, ever, ever use? Why are all these things tagged as white though? Is it because they've got like white legs? Is that what you're doing? Oh, it's tagged as gray. Oh, well, that was my bad. They've got gray legs. I was like, these sofas are all colorful. Why are you tagging them as white? <laughs> But I was clicked on the wrong thing. Anyway, this sofa I have not used in so long. Maybe I should use it now. Oh, that's a weird coffee table. I might use it. I don't think I've ever used that coffee table either. I really wish that these cabinets came in like a solid white color. It doesn't make sense that they don't. Like, why don't we have, we have solid black. Why not solid white? You need to give us solid black and white swatches of everything. I put that on there. It's floating a little bit, but we can put the scrolls there. That's fine. What if I sized it up? I don't really know what it is but there's not many decoration options that we've got. So yeah, what is that? Viney League in case scrolls. Give your degrees, what? No diplomas necessary. We've already included some for you. There you, I mean, before university came out, no diplomas necessary. We had that instead. Who knew? I have a lot of fun reading descriptions of the items. They have some really funny ones in the game. Highly recommend doing so if you haven't done that ever. Like for example, all of the furniture that came with the laundry pack is called Wicker Whims. Wicker Whims shelving. Wicker Whims dining chair, love seat, lo living chair. Yeah. It's easy to miss the little jokes because you don't always read like the descriptions of the items. You kind of just like grab them, but there are indeed some good ones out there. <laughs> the Sims is kind of funny. I don't know. They don't get enough credit for that. I'm having a lot of fun with this. I'm really, really enjoying furniture 
furnishing this house. I'm liking the layout of this space, but I'm also not sure what to put in this area. I guess it doesn't need to have anything, maybe just like a bookshelf or something, but it just, this wall makes it kind of weird, you know? Although it does kind of provide some like natural separation between the two rooms. I'm sure it's fine. Open space is fine. I just feel like there's this empty wall that's kind of weird. They don't really have many painting options. What about this? Ooh, no. We could put that in the dining room. I'm looking at it like I've never seen this before. It's always interesting looking through this stuff too because you kind of find these things you've never seen before. Like, I don't think I knew that we had these. Or maybe I did, I just don't use them, but... It's kind of fun because it makes you explore a little bit more in the catalog and see swatches you didn't know existed. Like, I haven't really used this poster from Cool Kitchen stuff in a long time. I forgot there was this swatch. Oh, that's good. That's the vibe right there. Okay. I always forget about this painting too. <laughs> it's really funny. I like it. They've got some good stuff in this game. You know, gargoyles and whatnot. Yeah, it's really, really good stuff. Got a decent bathroom. I don't know what tile to use. I wanted to, I wish we had more shower tub combos because I want to have one that has like slightly more modern tile in it. Even just like bigger tile like this one. This tile is very limiting. <laughs> It's kind of frustrating because I don't really want my whole bathroom to have like little tile. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm I'm really being nitpicky right now, but there are so many things that I wish we just had like one more basic swatch for. Like, why don't we have a solid black and solid white? It doesn't have to have tile in it. It could just be like plain, sort of like how the texture of the front is. It could just be plain in there. And then it's suddenly like so much more versatile because you could put it in like any bathroom. I don't know. I like all a lot of the regular showers, like this one, that's plain. I want that, but in here. <laughs> I just think that shower tub comp Combos are so common in real life and you don't exactly have things like this in every house you know I've actually never been to a house that's got like the shower curtain like this like rounded like that so I use this shower all the time but like truthfully I've never had a shower like this in real life most of the showers that I've had okay I say most of like I've had a million showers in my life I I haven't but like my parents house my current house we've got showers like this where there's like a built-in tub and then a shower curtain like this is so standard to me but the shower curtains are all so bold <sighs> anyway I want this back with glass doors. <laughs> I wanted to get a rug in here too, like a bath mat. See, that'll be nice. I'm just trying to get like slightly more decoration because we don't really have much of it. And at least with the bathroom, like we have some white decorations we could put on the walls so we can actually work with this here. I don't, I guess that's all we can do. I don't know. <laughs> we get a curtain, we get what, a, a rug and a towel and that's it. I want to put plants, but I feel like a lot of these plants are like too green. And I don't want to break my own rules. That's fine. I was thinking about getting this desk because it's kind of skinny and easy to fit places. It's actually really easy to do a white solid color challenge in this game compared to like other options. Like most of the time when you do solid color challenges, you're kind of stuck with like really ugly furniture because you're like, well, I've got to do pink and I've got one pink option. So you kind of just have to put whatever you can, but there's obviously a million different things that are white in the game. So we have a lot more options when it comes to decorating. It also just looks more intentional and less like a horrible nightmare mistake. I mean, well, the shape of the house looks like a horrible nightmare mistake, but as far as the actual big Build goes. <laughs> you know what else I was thinking of was maybe putting like skylights in here because there's that island living item. This is one of the best things they ever added to the game. I'm gonna be honest. This is really cool. That's kind of a fun touch. Well, maybe we can make them smaller. Oh, even if it looked like that, that's kind of fun. I don't know. I just, I'm trying to make it like slightly more interesting. And we can kind of play with texture on the walls too because we obviously don't have much color option. So we can do like some white brick behind the TV. This really shiny subway tile in the kitchen. My shiny teeth and me, you know? Oh, I should still put a fire alarm. I know it doesn't count. It doesn't really fit the vibe, but I am not trying to be the cause of anyone's death. <laughs> Maybe a thermostat too. I always forget to put these in my builds. I just get so distracted, like decorating. I forget about things like that, like the basic, actual, realistic things. I think the problem is that they weren't necessary for so long. And then once they become necessary, I just forget. It's the same reason as like, they didn't used to have dishwashers in the game, like way back years ago when the game came out. And so I just didn't put them because I couldn't. And then we got dishwashers and I still just don't put them because I'm just not used to having them even though they've been out for years. Doesn't make any sense because they've been around for so long. I just still forget about them. I'll put one in this house. There you go. See, you're welcome. I don't know where to put the bed in this room either. This is a mistake. This is a weird shape for a bedroom. I guess that's fine. Oh, I don't know what sort of rug we could fit. Does the circle rug sized up fit in here? Or what about like these? Mm, no, <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> Never mind. It was worth a shot. It just wasn't good in practice. There, that works. That fits. I really enjoy doing these builds. I think it's so silly how like the house, when you look at it, like just from the inside, it looks totally fine. Like it's a, a nice house. Then you kind of look at it from a little bit further away and like from the top and you're like, huh, <laughs> hmm. 
Why is that, actually? I, I enjoy that about it. It makes me laugh. I don't know how much furniture I even want to have in here. Like, I feel like we can't really decorate that much. Because there aren't, like, that many options. Put this in here. <laughs> Maybe this snowman. Sandman. I mean, there's like this thing. We could put that down. I don't really know what it is, but it's, it's decoration. Oh wait, the vase is better. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> False alarm. I forgot those vases existed. That's kind of nice. I'm into it. Maybe I'll put that like, hang on, because we could put the plant there. We could put like the vase on this. We could kind of like, I might have to size it down. We could have like a couple vases. That's interesting. And that's too low. But now it's floating. Oh, we just can't win. But like, that's fun. It makes sense, I guess. Is that really the whole interior done? This is such a weird house. I wanted the outside to look better than this. I don't really know what else to add to it. I guess we could get like a fence. What if we tried to make it like a little bit less symmetrical and we had like a weird, like the fence was only there or something. Just, just throwing out ideas. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like that might be worth a shot because then again, it's not as like samey. <laughs> And I kind of like the long skinny backyard. It's kind of fun. Oh, I keep forgetting I have this toothbrush in the front yard. It's so weird. I'm sorry. What do we put back here? Like what should I, maybe if the patio was bigger, I guess I need to make it more of like an actual patio, huh? Right now it's just white. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Are there even paver? I mean, those are ugly. That's, ew. Wait, do I like it or not? My shiny teeth and me. <laughs> I kind of like it. I'm sorry, I'm keeping it. I'm sorry. I, I can't, I shouldn't be given this kind of power. What if we had a pool? It's not white, but that's kind of cool actually. I, I actually really like that. I should probably get a ladder. <laughs> We're gonna kill all my sims this way. You know what? All things considered, the tooth house did not turn out that bad. My expectations for it were really low. I think it's definitely weird from the top. I mean, you just can't, you can't get around that. But like the actual house itself on the inside, it looks intentional. Like I, I wouldn't look at this and think it was super ugly. Maybe I'm just, maybe that's just wishful thinking. I don't know, but I think it's nice. <laughs> I think it turned out nice. Can't wait until my real life teeth get stolen today. Someone on my stream was like, hey Kayla, when are your teeth getting stolen? And I was like, you know what? That is a good way of looking at this. I like your attitude. The answer is today. They're, they're getting stolen today. I'm gonna take a week off. I've been pre-recording for a little bit, like I said, so you'll still have videos. I'm just not gonna stream this week. I think it wouldn't be easy to stream with my mouth in pain anyway, but you know what? My brain needs to shut off for a second. I've not been doing great for the last few months, so I'm gonna take a minute. I'm gonna step back. I deleted Twitter off my phone. We're gonna take a breather. And with that being said, I'm gonna go, but don't worry. You'll still see me tomorrow. That was a weird outro. I'm sorry. How are you all doing? Let me know in the comments down below. It's a weird time. I'm really sorry if you're struggling because you know what? I know I am. <laughs>